It's never too early or too late to seek counselling. So if you're wanting some support with mental health, we encourage you to book an appointment, give it a go. What we do know is that for mental health, early intervention is really important. Students come to counselling for a whole range of reasons. Some really common examples might be stress, anxiety, mood difficulties like depression, or it might be relationship difficulties or sleep difficulties. Being a university student, you're going through a lot of life transitions as well. So it might be talking about moving out of home. It might be talking about starting postgraduate studies or moving countries if you're an international student. All counselling appointments at Monash are completely confidential. There are only some certain rare circumstances in which we might have to disclose information you tell us, but they are very rare. So for example, it might be if we determine that you or someone else is at serious risk of harm and we have to tell someone to stop that from happening. Another example too is that psychologists like myself, we can be subpoenaed by law courts in Australia. So if they ask us for information, we just have to give them what they ask for. And the last one is if we have your permission. So clients from time to time, they might want us to say, talk to their doctor, write letters, paperwork for them. But if we were to do that, we often get your consent to do that and we talk it through with you and what we would say to them as well. So we work together to figure that out. All counselling sessions at Monash are free as long as you're enrolled as a Monash student. The easiest way to book a counselling appointment is to call our reception team. When you're on the phone with them, they'll talk to you about availability of counsellors, they'll talk about whether you would like an in-person or a Zoom appointment. You can also ask for a specific gender of counsellor or inquire about counsellors who speak a language in addition to English. Everybody's different in terms of what they need and how many counselling appointments they come for. The great thing about seeing a university counsellor is we know about a lot of other services at the university, so we commonly help students who might, for example, uh, want to link in with academic services, disability support services or other services around the university. My suggestion is book one and see how you go. It's normal to be nervous about coming to counselling. At the health service, when you come for counselling, the waiting room is the health service, the medical reception area, so no one's going to know that you're there for counselling. All counsellors at Monash are qualified and have completed training. For example, I'm a psychologist. I did six years of studies and finished the Masters of Clinical Psychology. All of my counselling colleagues are qualified and well-trained and are either psychologists or social workers. So first session of counselling for me is all about information gathering. I just want to get a good understanding of what brings you here, difficulties you might be going through, what your life is like outside of that in general as well. And then towards the end of the appointment, what we do is we think about the plan for after that appointment. It might be that we have follow-up appointments. It might be that there are other services in or outside the university that I can refer you to. But the main purpose really is to create a safe space for you to talk about whatever it is is that you're coming for. We have counsellors available at all of our campuses and they're inside the health service. We really encourage you to get help as soon as you can. It's really common and normal to be nervous about counselling and not know what to expect. We do our best to make that an easy, comfortable process for you, but what we do know is that the sooner you get help, the quicker and easier it is to get better. We're here to help.